It's now just commonplace. Drones seem to be everywhere. And as big companies are figuring out how to use them to make deliveries, the common criminal is way ahead of them. This is a very potentially deadly problem that they have. It's against the law to do it, but drones are delivering everything from weapons to drugs to cigarettes inside the prison fence at lockups across North Carolina. The prisons just need to know that someone's out there. To fight the problem, who better to do the job than Missy Cummings, one of the Navy's first female fighter pilots. Dr. Cummings is a professor at Duke and has been recruited by the North Carolina the Department of Corrections. She's developed a detection system that alerts the prison of incoming drones. So it listens for drones flying nearby. And so we've spent the last couple of years developing some artificial intelligence uh, that learns how to listen for certain kinds of drones and can ignore other um, aircraft in the sky. At her side is landscape architect Dr. Alan Asar. Anything we have, we are going to install on the prison campus has to be camouflaged enough not to stick out in the landscape, not to be visible. So how do you do that? A giant bird's nest, blending sticks and branches with solar power, plus an acoustic detection system. It's truly an interdisciplinary beyond my imagination or our imagination when we started doing this. There are other drone detection systems out there, but they are very expensive and require a lot of manpower. This, though, is only a few hundred dollars a piece. You need around five of them at each prison, and for a cash-strapped prison system, cost does matter. The true unique contribution that we're making with this project is to make a very low-cost sensor. And by very low cost, the sensor itself and the, the equipment that goes with it is only a couple hundred dollars. Making it easier to not only detect a drone, but catch the person operating it. 